You dropped in an image you can't erase Stuck on a canvas you didn't paint What's up guys, Darkness here. Um, today is going to be a different uh, video. I've never done this before, so coming out of my comfort zone. But today we're going to Climax. So yeah, I want to bring you on this adventure. Um, right now I'm going to be leaving for the airport. I'm going to visit my friend. And tomorrow is Climax. So let's do this. So uh, I just wanted to let you guys know that I'll probably be doing a follow-up video uh, about Climax 2022 uh, and my thoughts on it. Uh, this video is more of a coverage of all the sets, uh, well most of the sets, um, and some initial thoughts uh, about uh, each stage. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed regardless uh, and stay tuned for the next videos um, where I'll be sharing more about my Climax experience um, and my future plans uh, for this channel and my upcoming events. I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Uh, make sure to leave a like, uh, subscribe and enjoy the rest of the video. Passport control. Um, took like two minutes. The airport is actually very quiet uh, compared to what was happening like two months ago. There are lines outside of the airport right now, as you can see. Fairly quiet. Look how beautiful the airport looks around November time. Uh, I'm outside of the airport now. There's a huge Christmas tree. It's pretty cool. Love the Shippo Plaza. The famous I am Heart, uh, I am Heart stuff. I am Amsterdam uh, sign. And a big tower. So yeah, now we have to make it up there. So my Uber is not all right. Let me in. Hi YouTube! <laughs> that was the worst intro ever. <laughs> Hey, so at this stage I'm just showing you a time lapse of me traveling to Climax. Uh, the previous footage was uh, me traveling to my friend's house. Uh, we kind of chilled the day before. Uh, and yeah, this is the night of Climax. Uh, and I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of the vlog. <laughs> Do it again. Bye. First one on the bus for climax. Get in the back seat. Let's go. <laughs> So we just made it to the Gelder Dump. Bus journey was quite long. I also seen the queue for my entrance and it doesn't look too good. God, losing my glasses. I actually started walking the wrong way, so I have to go all the way around to get to my entrance. Uh, so yeah, this year no VIP. I have to use the normal entrance, which uh, hopefully is not gonna be too bad because I don't wanna miss the start. Super excited. And yeah, see you inside. 
So at this stage, uh, I was walking towards the queue entrance, as you can see in the footage, uh, and the queue was super long at the back. Uh, and for some reason, the security people allowed us to come in from the side, so I essentially skipped nearly everyone. Uh, and I got to this big hall, and as you can hear, the vibe was crazy. It was right before the security checks. Just made it for security, and now we're heading into the color dome. Let's go! So I'm about to walk in to the Gelder Dome. First time seeing the stage. It's already started. Wait till you guys see this. So at this stage I actually missed uh, the only opportunity I had to get my locker, uh, which I pre-booked already. Um, I didn't grab my Gelder Dome wallet and yeah, it's only because I thought that Climax has already started, uh, as in the curtain has already dropped. Um, but thankfully it wasn't the case, so uh, I right after I got this footage, uh, I grabbed some merchandise, got my Gildenum wallet, uh, and went back to the front row. So I've got some merch, and now we're gonna head down to the... Bottom. left me speechless whenever I uh, first saw it. But as you can see in the footage there were disciples on the left and right side of the stage, uh, spotlights hitting them, uh, and then at the very end uh, it all moved towards the middle where MC Villain kind of came out with uh, all other people dressed as disciples um, to the most amazing song, Donkey Rollers, the fusion of sound. Uh, I think it was the DJ Isaac remix. Uh, and, and the whole like scenery with that song it, it was just such a perfect intro for MC Villain uh, 
yeah, it was it was so good. the stage intro reveal um, plays in the background I want to talk about the Zani set uh, that we just heard it was absolutely amazing um, you'll probably hear me saying that a lot uh, but he absolutely smashed it with all the classics um, it, it was it was truly an experience uh, which I was looking towards uh, for a very long time because uh, I never experienced such a good classic set uh, they absolutely nailed it with MC Villain. Um, it, 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 the crowd energy as well, after three years of no climax, uh, it was unbelievable. Uh, and th there's gonna be so many more clips of w where you can feel how uh, the, the, the people really missed climax and you can feel the energy of the crowd. It was, it was something really amazing.
intro. Hopefully I have it all recorded properly. Um, the creator set was perfect. Uh, a lot of classics. Um, same with Zani. Amazing set. Basically two hours of classics. Um, right now, just having a smoothie. Very nice, very refreshing. Uh, gonna head back to the very back of the stage while the Sunrush is playing. So at this stage I got to the back of the Gellerdom while Sunrush was playing. Uh, unfortunately I didn't get any more clips uh, because the sound system was horrible at the back. There was a big echo and my GoPro couldn't really handle the, uh, the quality and honestly e even to my ears it was, it was quite bad. Uh, it's, it's because it's a stadium so uh, it's, it's very hard to get a good spot in, in there but uh, yeah. As, as you will see, uh, we're now going through the intro for Deep Block and Estefan. Um, I kind of moved around the Gellerdom during their set, um, purely because I wanted to find some good spots where I could uh, rest and also get some good audio. Uh, and then I think I also went down um, to, to the end of the set, uh, more to the front row to kind of uh, party with people.
so this was probably the most emotional part of my max um, it was the last song by DJ the Prophet um, and farewell messages from uh, MC Villain uh, and you know, just thanking him in general for um, basically becoming the founding fathers of Hardstyle which I totally agree with um, I've seen that of uh, DJ the Prophet on many stages before uh, he's a great guy and uh, I wish him all the be uh, all the best uh, in the in the future um, and yeah uh, I want to personally for thank him for um, for what he's done to the scene and uh, yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, the the last climax for DJ the Prophet.
these DJ producers as they brought you the future inside. I just wanted to put in a quick note, uh, I did record the entire set of Disturb and Active Rage uh, POV style, so I will not be including it here because that will be too much footage as the set is around 40 minutes long. Um, my camera unfortunately did cut off at some point, so there was only audio, uh, but I will upload it anyway uh, and you can enjoy uh, that on its own. Uh, now back to Ruler.
so just got out of climax holy shit it was so fucking good probably the best edition i've been to and probably best edition in a, in a while um my voice is fucking gone Seth had totally destroyed the last set same with roller uh same with uh disturb and active rage guys absolutely smashed it i have a full video of their set pov style so uh hopefully that'll be up soon um yeah it's fucking freezing outside it's like seven degrees and it was like a sauna inside so i'm probably gonna be sick tomorrow but yeah i'm gonna head to the bus go home and sleep